Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today we're talking about what you can knit for the home. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, I've got lots of ideas for you for what you can knit to use around the home. There are so many knitting patterns out there and so many of them seem to be fixated on what you can wear. Cardigans, jumpers, socks, scarves, hats, cowls, mittens. We have so many of those patterns around. Let's think about knitting for the home this week. And I really love knitting for the home because it's something you can use every single day of the year. I love the cushions that are on my couch. I love the bookmarks that I use in my favorite books. All those kinds of things that you can use around the home that you may not have that kind of use out of. If you're knitting a scarf, you may only use it for three months in the winter. If you're knitting a summer cardigan, again, you may only use it for two or three months in the year. So let's go through all of the rooms in the house one at a time and see what we can find to knit. So let's look at the bedroom first. How about some cotton clothes hangers? I love knitting clothes hangers, but they're not the actual hangers, it's the covers to go around wooden ones. And I love that idea of creating a cover so that it's softer, so it's not just a plain wooden hanger or plastic hanger that you might use in the wardrobe. It's got a beautiful, soft texture to it, and it will help hold your clothes much better I really like the idea and I've been using my own hand knitted covers around clothes hangers for quite a few years now, well over a decade and I use them for my most favourite clothes and it means that they last longer and they look a lot better as well when I put them on, they hang properly. So you can also knit lavender bags, we've talked about lavender because they are ideal for keeping moths away, they are a natural deterrent for moths, they are coming up in the home collection so do watch out lavender bags with all the lavender and the muslin bags to go inside the lavender bags that you'll knit as well all of that will be in a kit so keep your eye open for them what else can you knit for the bedroom how about some eye pillows you either need buckwheat you can use rice anything that's just got that little heavy weight to it as a stuffing and a beautiful eye pillow, just a little rectangle, all you need to knit. And it will feel beautiful as well. You can use a cotton or a bamboo or a linen, um, really well handmade. You'll actually be more willing to use it if it's rather than just bought it off of Amazon. The other thing you might want to knit for a bedroom, and maybe for a child's bedroom, um, alongside soft toys, is actually a mobile for the baby. I've seen many mobile patterns over the years, and just lots of little toys or objects to hang from a mobile would be beautiful, a handmade mobile, how about that? So let's move into the bathroom. What can you knit for the bathroom? So face cloths are the obvious things, shower scrubs, you can even find uh, knitting patterns for towels if you want to go the full hog and completely accessorize your bathroom. Makeup remover pads as well. If you're someone who wears makeup on a regular basis, then they may actually be really helpful instead of using the um, throwaway disposable cotton pads. So we're moving into an era where we want things that are reusable, that they're not just disposable, use them once and they've gone. Let's start doing that now and you can easily knit them up. Even if you have teenagers in your family, then knit them up for, all, for the Christmas presents this year. And once you've gone through and created a lot of knitted linen for the bathroom, how about you create some storage baskets as well. If you just lower the size of the needle slightly, so it's just a slightly tighter knit, it will be much stiffer fabric when you've finished, and that kind of basket can hold your face cloth. If you need a larger one, it can hold towels as well. Anything that you want for a bathroom, even a basket to hold your shampoos or your moisturizers, something like that. So into the kitchen and the dining area. Again, we can you make cloths. We can make dish cloths for the kitchen. I know this has been something that many people have knitted for many, many years. It's just something that everybody does almost as a starter project for a beginner. It's just a rite of passage. Get some cotton yarn. Once you're ready for that, you can just knit through a whole ball of yarn and you have yourself a dishcloth. So alongside the dishcloth, you can make matching towels. And also, how about this, net bags. If you want to create net bags, you can use them to hold your vegetables. And of course, you can go shopping with them. They can be really useful in the kitchen. 
Everyone who's in Italy surely loves drinking tea, so we're going to have mug cozies and teapot cozies as well, alongside coasters and placemats. All of those are ideal for the kitchen and dining area. And they are beautiful nets, something that we'll use for many, many years. And then you can just replace them, re-net them up, same patterns perhaps, once you've used them and washed them and used them and washed them, and just knit them up in some new colours when you changed your interior decorating perhaps. Okay, so we've done the bedroom, the bathroom, the dining room and the kitchen. How about we move into the living room? So the living room is very much a place where you see a lot of soft furnishings. So that can mean that you perhaps want to knit cushion covers. I love cushion covers. I've used cushion covers for a long time that are hand knitted. And I particularly like cushion covers where you knit one side, then you knit the other side, and you seam all four sides. I think it means that it holds much better in place once the cushion's inside. If you knit on a loop um, and then just um, knit two sides together, then it can and just lose its place somewhat. So I really do like cushion covers with four seamed sides. So that's one option, cushion covers. I love them. They are also going to be coming up in the home collection that we're releasing this month. So keep an eye out for them. So there are lots of other things that you can knit for the living room. We also know so many knitters knit blankets and throws either knitting squares one at a time or putting so many stitches on the needle at once that you basically have a blanket sat there on your needles as you're knitting. That can be really comfortable, especially if you're knitting it in the winter. It just grows and grows and grows and it's keeping you warm while you're knitting. And then also, if you are willing to, again, stuff something, how about draft excluders if you're in an old family home? or indeed doorstops. I've seen so many knitting patterns for really cute um, novelty doorstops that are really lovely, like chickens or dragons or dinosaurs or something. Just a soft dinosaur. You could even use a soft toy pattern and just put more weight in it. And it's just a novelty that you can uh, use in any room you like, actually. It doesn't have to be the living room. Now, how about this as well? You can knit rugs. Ever thought of that? Uh, if you get if you find the right pattern, you probably will be using a thicker yarn and larger needles But you can actually make a really nice knitted rug Usually you'd see it as a kind of a macrame project or as a crochet project But I have seen knitted rugs that look really particularly good. So um, While I don't have any patterns myself Then I've seen them out there as I've been searching over the years and I say why not have a go? Also, the other part of the soft furnishings in the living room that we really take note of are the curtains, and you can make tie backs for them as well. How about knitted tie backs for your curtains? And last but not least, how about some chair covers or chair cushions? Okay, let's move on. Something that you could use in any part of the house. And notice we're not going outside in this video, we're talking about inside the home. So decorations is what I'm gonna think of next for you party bunting and party tinsel or Christmas tinsel. You can knit all of those things. Yes, you can find novelty yarn that will make tinsel for you, but how about you find interesting ways of using sustainable yarns to create tinsel as well. I love knitting lengths of yarn, basically casting on a lot of stitches, casting off within one or two rows, and immediately you have this long, thin length of knitting. I love it. You can also create tinsel kind of effect with eye cord. Maybe just put lots of bubbles on it as you're going. That kind of thing will really mean that you've got something you can use for many, many years. It's very personal to you. And that kind of knit can really give, give you something to knit that feels a lot more interesting than maybe yet another cardigan when you've already got 15 in your drawer already. Of course, Christmas tree ornaments. We all love Christmas tree ornaments. I love knitting Christmas tree ornaments. Snowmen, Christmas trees, mini hats, socks, all sorts of things you can knit for the tree. And how about wall hangings? If you're interested in actually creating something instead of a, another photograph, or a print or a poster or something, you could actually knit something or make something to hang on the wall as a piece of art. So you could definitely make something with multimedia. So you could knit and crochet at the same time, do a bit of macrame in there with the fringing perhaps. And then also if you create a part of knitting, if you are someone who just likes making samples, 
then how about you actually frame it and put it on the wall as well? Okay, that is quite a lot of knitting ideas for the home. That is at least 30 ideas and possibly more because I rambled quite a lot there too. Thanks so much for sticking with me. Now, the reason I've done this is just to get you in the mood because we are releasing a home collection of knitting patterns and knitting kits in the shop this month. We should be ready by the end of June. Everything will be in the shop and we can also start and knit along together with one of the patterns. So I do hope you will keep watching, keep your eye out and make sure you're on my email list. While I will mention it here, you'll also get direct access and all of the links you need if you want to join in with a knit along or maybe even just get yourself a kit or a pattern so you can start knitting up some home items this summer. So thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks so much for joining me today. Do subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. If you click on the bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I release a new video. I'm here every Tuesday, every week with a new video on the Knit With Hannah channel. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting. <laughs>